Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another quick unboxing video for you. This is like the third unboxing video in a row, but this is a knife I finally found in stock and I ordered it. And then a couple of days later, I get a message saying it's really out of stock. Our inventory was screwed up, so I got refunded and I bought another knife. But um, shortly after that, I get a text message alert said it was back in stock so I ordered it and today I've been carrying the Kaiser Vinlat Mini in the Boba Fett colors this is my first Kaiser and um yeah I'm really digging this one but I think I'll open this with a little CJRB Mylea, which is by Swags, designed by Swags. And this is a good little, good little utility knife. So let's get this thing open. And you'll see why I have those two in particular out. One is because it's another Kaiser, so I got my second Kaiser knife. Actually, the first one I ordered, but not the first one I got. So, let's open it up. I went through this the other day, a couple of videos ago, and I did the unboxing for that. You get their little pamphlet. You get a little cleaning cloth in this little envelope. Decent, decent packaging. And here's the knife. This is the Kaiser Swags Swayback. And I gotta say, looks pretty good. I like the G10 on this. It's a little, got a little more traction than this one or the other knife I got, I just did an unboxing on, is the Finch Cimarron. Another excellent knife, but these are very smooth G10 on both of them. Now these, these feel very similar. As far as texture and grip. But yeah. Kaiser Swayback. Or Kaiser Swag Swayback. Now I think. If you don't know who Swags is. She's a knife personality on YouTube. And Instagram. She worked for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. She did a lot of knife videos. Knife reviews. And I believe. This is actually the first one she designed. This one came out beforehand, but you can see her logo right there and the pocket clip. Yeah, it feels pretty good. So let's open it up, check it out. Yeah, I like that little tink. So Warren Cliff blade, three inch blade, nice bead blast finish. You know, it doesn't feel for a sway back, doesn't feel that bad in hand, not at all. Hold it like you're actually using it, and you grip it like this. That, you know, it really doesn't feel that bad. <clears throat> I think it's, I think it feels pretty good. It's a little different. Feels a little bit different than normal knife. But yeah, you know, it is a button lock. Plus it has thumb studs. The action's good. So, trying to do a liner lock. 
Yeah, the action's really good. That was kind of, I'm doing a liner lock. There we go. Yeah, the action's pretty, man, I did it again. This is going to take forever to get used to, but thumb studs work great. I almost did it again. Gee. I'll show you. That's the one kind of design fluke about this is how they they have this G10 cut out on this side like it like it's a liner lock. Like that's cut out to access the liner lock. That's cut out a little bit to access the liner lock. You know, even this one. So it looks like you have to use a liner lock, but it's a button lock. Now, tell you one thing, it's comfortable. Wrap my finger around that. Kind of goes in this little tiny cut out here. Wraps around this way. It's really comfortable. And some knives, if it was even, like back here, it'd be off a of blocky. But yeah, it's really comfortable and nice that way. You just gotta remember it's a lot, or it's a button lock, not, not a liner lock. Because I want to do that so, so instinctively that it's not funny. But yeah, let's do some size comparisons. Um, put that down. I got, let's do, do the standards. Paramilitary 2. Para 3 lightweight. You can see it's, over, overall it's a little shorter than the Para 3. But blade length's about the same. You definitely get more cutting edge on and the sway back. So let's get those out of the way. Let's do bench made bug out. It's a little smaller than the bug out, full size bug out. Let's do the mini bug out. Yeah, it's it's a little longer. Handles definitely longer. Blades a little bit longer. So it's right between the mini bug out and the Standard bug out. Let's put it up against the Civivi Elementum. They're pretty close. Handle on the sway back's a little bit longer. Let's try the CJRB Mini Feldspar, small Feldspar. And they're pretty close tip of this handle is just a little bit longer. Let's try another one about the same size QSB Penguin. Now that's almost, they're almost dead even. So that's basically the same, same overall length as the QSB Penguin. And there's a the other Swags knife, the CJRB Mylia, and my other Kaiser, the Latvin Mini, and they're pretty close too. So, yeah, they're they're real close. So, three inch blade. You got a four inch handle, and um. You got Bowler N690 on this one. Same as this one. So both of these Kaisers have N690 blade steel. But um, yeah, I'll put the price and some of the specs right up here. But so far, yeah, this is pretty nice. 
I do like it. Get got good jumping on top here. My finger wraps around that. It's real comfortable. Way they have the sides cut out. Button lock lock. Works fine. I don't feel no lock stick. I've I've heard of people having lock stick issues when they first got it. But yeah, I got the purple. So I'm trying to do the liner lock. Um I got the purple. I kinda wish I got a match in red one, but these are actually pretty cool little knives. Now, handle's four inches long. Handle width is kind of thick. It's a lot thicker than the finch. Yeah, it's thicker than a Latvin Mini. But I think that adds to the how it fits in my hand. I do wear extra large size gloves, so this is a pretty, you know, fairly small knife and I got big hands, but yeah, it feels pretty comfortable. Pocket clip, like I showed, has Swag's logo on it, signature. It's not deep carry. Gonna have a little bit sticking up. Um, kinda, Kind of a point. It's not really the shark fin like I keep pointing out on some knives. But the action is pretty. I'm doing a liner lock again. I cannot stop myself from trying to release a liner lock. Thumb studs. I like the action with the thumb studs. A little, little better. Uh, I did it again. But yeah, <clears throat> take a closer look at the scales. It's got good little jumping on the flipper tab. Tink, I like that. My camera would focus today. But yeah, overall fit and finish, you can see it's got skeletonized liners in there. It's not, it's not heavy at all. It's listed at 2.72 ounces. See what my scale says. Man, focus. Right there, it says sway back. This side. Right below the thumb stud, it says N690. It's got a larger logo. The logo's bigger than on the Latvin Mini. I like the little logo up on the back on the, by this handle better than that right there on the, the larger one on the blade, but it's not that bad. So see what it weighs 2.72 exactly what it's listed at so that's good now it is like i said it's it's a little thicker than i don't know probably average it's thin blade stock blade stocks 0 0.11 inches pretty thin blade stock Full, you know, almost a full flat grind. Got a nice wedge up here. The Warren Cliff blade is pretty, pretty cool looking. And I like that. Make these Warren Cliff blades make good utility cuts. And this one, yeah, I can choke up, put my finger way up on the tip. But yeah, so far I'm digging this one too. So I've gotten three knives within just a few days, and I like all three of them. 
So like I said about the other two, you know, I'll do review on this, this, and this after I carry and use them for a while. And let me tell you, right now, the little bit I've used these, I really like them. They carry great. I think this one definitely carry good. It's not deep carry, but it's not going to be too bad. You're not going to have too much sticking out of your pocket. It's pretty, pretty narrow, so. Yeah, I guess that's guess that's going to be it for today. Just a quick unboxing. Like I said, though, you'll be seeing more of these. I'll be doing, you know, a more in-depth review on these after I use them for a bit. And, um, so far, the first two I really like. Let's bring out the, my Leah there. So, I got both of Swag's knives, and I gotta say, this little thing, I carry and use this a lot. This is a great, great little utility knife. Opening packages, cutting small stuff. So, I really like that one. And this one, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this one so far. First, you can choke up a little bit up here. But, you know, it's not bad. The sway back is not too bad. But this one's not bad. I think when you're actually using it, I think it's going to fit in my hand pretty, pretty, pretty good. Doesn't feel bad. Don't feel that pocket clip at all. It's like it doesn't even have a pocket clip. But yeah, that's it. Quit rambling. Just a quick unboxing video. Watch out for more videos on that. Um, as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.